My name's Matthew Jones and I'm a senior lecturer in cinema and television history at Moffat University. My colleague uh, at UCL, uh, Professor Melvin Stokes, was um, giving a lecture about um, cinema going in the 1960s and this was to uh, a group of people who previously attended UCL during that period and apparently at the end of it he was uh, inundated by people wanting to share their memories with him. So he thought, well, isn't this a wonderful idea to collect memories of the period and that can help us to find out both about what cinema going was like but also can shed some light on the social and cultural history of the period as well. So Melvin applied to the Arts and Humanities Research Council for some money and uh, then brought me onto the project once he, he'd secured the funding. And so we spent three years together, um, along with uh, a colleague, Dr. Emma Pett, um, and we collected uh, a thousand people's memories. Um, there are a few that, that have really tickled me, I suppose, over the years. Um, one of a, a cinema in a remote town in northwest Scotland where the the roof of the cinema was corrugated iron and so when it rained as it very often did in this town the raindrops on the roof the sound of that would drown out the film completely and um, people ended up making up their own dialogue because they just couldn't hear what was going on so you get couples kind of imagining together what was happening on the screen uh, to try and fit with the images, uh, which I always thought sounded quite charming, um, if very annoying too. Um, there was another one of a cinema, I believe in, in Manchester, um, which had its own cinema cat. And uh, there was a woman who was a big cat lover and she would uh, go to the cinema week by week and see this cat prowling around, occasionally cozying up to people, but never to her. Until one glorious day, the cat came and sat on her lap and it was her favorite cinema experience. Nothing to do with the film, nothing to do with the, the environment, simply because the cat sat on her lap. Uh, I've always found that really, really charming. So often the best stories that we get aren't really those that are to do with the films at all because the films you watch once and then they slip away in memory but the experience of being in the cinema, of travelling to the cinema, of going through the cinema foyer that's the sort of stuff that happened week in, week out and so it seems to have stuck around much more strongly than the films themselves and so it's those memories that are often the most charming. And there have been projects um, such as Annette Coon's project on cinema going in Britain in the 30s. Uh, Jackie Stacey's done some work around female uh, audiences in the 40s and 50s. Um, so it seemed sensible to work on the 1960s, not only because of that, but also because the 60s is seen as a period of great social change in Britain. It's um, a period of swinging London and of the pill and of the legalisation of abortion and homosexuality. So it's a period where British society is often thought to change a great deal. People are now rethinking that and saying, well, actually, how, um, how widespread were the changes? What were their effects um, to, to people across the social spectrum and across the country? And people are starting to kind of revise their, their thinking on that a bit. So we wanted to look at, at cinema going's place within all of that. So cinema going was, was rapidly changing. And I don't think people um, really appreciate that cinema going was ever anything other than it currently is. Um, I think people my age certainly don't often appreciate that cinema going was often quite a different activity, that it felt quite different. And so what we want to do is try and bring that sense of the specificity of cinema going in the 1960s, what made it different from cinema going in the 50s and the 70s, and to help people understand that. So for people my age, it's an opportunity to learn about our past and the past of an activity that remains really very um, relevant and very popular today. Recreating a night at the cinema in the 1960s as an immersive theatrical event. Um, I've very generously been offered use of the Phoenix Cinema in Leicester and of the Picture House Central Cinema at um, Piccadilly Circus in London. And in those two spaces, in March and then again in June, um, I'm going to be working with about 20 actors um, to uh, embody the memories that we've collected, I suppose. So we're having a 50th anniversary screening of Hammer's um, most popular film of the decade, which was One Million Years BC, starring Raquel Welch. 
and we're going to screen that along with a newsreel, um, potentially a B-movie, adverts from the period and so forth. We're going to have the actors be usherettes, be a commissionaire at the door. I may well play a cinema manager myself. Um, we're going to have um, actors playing audience members in amongst the audience, living out the memories that we've collected. So the audience will get a chance to see not only how cinema going was uh, different in the 1960s, but also they'll get a chance to meet some of the 1960s characters um, that are amalgamations of the memories that um, we've been collecting on the project.